So I've been looking into Ivy as a completion backend for a while. And one of the things that I wanted to be able to do was sort the entries or sort the candidates dynamically. So here's an example of something that I've been doing is uh, generating a, a list of, of data here. Let's say these are all contacts uh, that I've kept track of. And the first column here is going to be the candidates that get shown in this Ivy read. And you can sort these one time with the sort argument. So you can choose to either do it A to Z or Z to A, but there's no way to change it. So when we run this, uh, this particular Ivy, you know, I get a list of candidates here and I can select them. Uh, and if I just pick this one, it will do the default action, which is to insert the email. And there are lots of ways to do multiple candidates where you we keep on going. But what was missing is a way to dynamically sort them so that I could say sort them by first name or last name or A to Z or Z to A um, dynamically. So that's what I'm going to show you how I, I did this today. Uh, big thanks to Ola. He helped me a lot in figuring out all the details. So the first idea is that uh, this, this set of candidates here uh, are stored in Ivy and you can access them and modify them and then update the display. So I wanted to do two things. One, I want to be able to swap two candidates, move them up and down and reorder them one at a time. And so I create this, this swap function that just swaps two elements in a list and a function that will move a candidate up and move a candidate down. So generally we, we get this uh, collection here. This gets the last, last known collection, which is the list uh, that we passed in. And then I just swap it and use the setf function, which is a generalized setter in Lisp. And then we save our, our candidate that we're currently on and then all we do is reset the state so that we'll update it. So every time we run Ivy move up or Ivy move down, it's going to move candidates up and down. And then I define two sorters, uh, A to Z, which just replaces the whole collection with a sorted version of the collection. And then uh, same thing, save the current selection, reset the state, and Ivy Z to A uh, just does the exact opposite. Now these by themselves aren't that helpful because there's not an easy way to call them in the mini buffer. So what I'm going to do next is create a key map to bind those. So I make an IV sort key map, which is just a sparse key map, and I'll assign control up and control down to the functions that swap candidates, and alt up and alt down to uh, sort A to Z or Z to A. And finally, I'm going to create this new uh, idea of alt return that's going to apply a function, one of the actions, to all the candidates. And I'll let it take a numeric prefix so that we can actually select which candidate action uh, is applied. So first, uh, the, the uh, thing to look at, let's look at uh, what's in this. If you look down here, you can see that the first element is the default action and then there's a list of actions and each list uh, of actions is the key and the function and sometimes a doc string. So if we don't get a numeric argument I'll set it to the first element the car of this list which is the default action then we go to the beginning of the buffer and then we get a function which is the uh, arg, arg element of that list um, and then out of that the first car is the key and the, uh, the, the ELT1 is the function. So here we just extract out the function and then I loop for i from uh, 0 to the length of the current uh, set of candidates and call the function with the particular candidate. So a subtle point here is that I let the candidate uh, come from the IV state collection based on the IV index and here I check if it's a, a list P uh, then uh, then we take the cutter of it, otherwise uh, we just take the candidate. And then that evaluates the function, we move to the next line, and finally we exit um, with no action. So that's our map uh, that we can use. And then finally we get to uh, the good stuff, which is here's our new function, uh, new IV read that uses my key map right here, and everything else is, is the same. So if we execute this now, CTN, 
Now I can use control down to move this around and I can uh, use alt up to sort them from A to Z or alt down to go from Z to A and if I press alt return then this is going to use the default action which should give me a list of emails inserted into my buffer. Now I can go back and use alt 2 alt return and it inserts the phone numbers uh, which are in the order that they were sorted uh, that you can see here. So all in all that looks pretty good. Uh, we can dynamically sort the uh, candidates. You could figure out a way to sort by email address or sort by phone number uh, as well. You just have to go up here and, and modify these these functions here. It's also pretty cool that we can use uh, alt return with a numeric prefix to specify which action gets applied to all of the candidates. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks again Ole for making a really awesome package uh, for completion and I hope you find some use for this as well.